Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about how I'm planning on going, how I'm planning, how I'm going to, my plans for this, just to be clear, I am making the 2015 live action Cinderella dress that Lily James wore in the 2015 live action Cinderella movie. And this dress is actually a very popular dress. I've seen lots of people make it. I'm hoping to begin the project kind of um, from the start of August to the start of October. I'm hoping, usually my projects take about three months, or at least the big projects take about three months. And this is one of those bigger projects. Obviously my goal with this dress is to make it as accurate to the actual as accurate to the actual costume as possible, so I will be using the same fabric, uh, not the same, well, the same amount of fabric, um, and the same kind of construction the dress has, and I will be taking you along with me and showing you how to do it. And unfortunately, I won't be using the same types of fabrics, so they're probably won't be any silk because I'm very young and my videos are always sponsored by my bank account so the thing is um, I was able to afford all the materials for this project for about $300 or less which is really good if you want to make this dress and you want to make it really good but you don't have a lot of money or sewing skills and you don't want to commit your money to really nice materials. So in this video I'm going to be showing you um, all the materials that I purchased for this project, how much they cost, and I'm also going to share a few facts about the dress compared to how I'm going to make my dress and how the dresses are going to be different or the same. Alright, so I'm also planning on making the undergarments for the dress because that's a big important thing about dresses is you want the proper silhouette. So here I've got my boning. Um, I know this is not this like steel boning. I could not find any. Where I live there isn't a lot of um, great places to buy sewing supplies. But here I've got some synthetic boning and I've got I believe about a hundred yards of it. And it cost me around ten to fifteen dollars ish I think. And I will be using this to make the hoop skirt and corset. Next you're going to need thread because this dress has over 270 yards of fabric and um, the original had three miles, two, I think it's two or three miles of ruffles and so you're going to need a lot of thread. So I purchased serger thread because it's very good for, um, because there's 3,000 yards on each spool and you're going to need so much thread. So I purchased three spools. One of them is already on my sewing machine. I've been using it already. But um, uh, I've got one in blue and two in white. And the thread is about two or three dollars each. So you're looking around like six to nine dollars. Next, we're going to talk about the most important part of this dress, the fabric. So I purchased most of my fabric for this project from CV Linens, which is a website. They are warehouses in Texas, and they supply um, decorations for venues, like wedding venues. And basically that means you can get a lot of fabric for really cheap there, because at weddings people like to drape fabric as a decoration. And so they had um, bolts of organza available in 40 yards by 60 inches um, in width and they had all the colors that I needed but I didn't know at first I didn't I wasn't sure I haven't heard about a lot about CV linen so I um, I didn't know if it was a reliable website because in the past I have been scammed um, so but they do offer this thing um, called SASE which stands for this and basically that means you can mail them a self-addressed stamped envelope and you can get fabric swatches from them and I thought oh this is a good idea to like make sure that they're legit business and they were because they sent me these lovely fabric swatches so basically you just need to 
mail them a letter with um, a list of all the fabric swatches that you want to pick up and they will give you um, they will give you seven swatches per envelope and I believe they let you do two envelopes per customer so I just picked up um, seven colors so this one is lilac I believe um, it's kind of hard to tell on camera because they're all very um, thin maybe I could fold them a few times this one I think was aqua I got white baby blue um, purple um, teal and royal blue my original plan was to just buy six bolts of fabric I believe but I bought all the colors that I got swatches for um, so Cinderella's dress has a bunch of different colors of organza in the petticoat so I picked up different shades of blue and purple and so I've got all of my fabric right here uh, and as for the price I got a total of 280 yards of fabric for $228, I believe, which is a really good deal for fabric, and for all this, it was such a good deal. The fabric's going to be the majority of the cost for this whole project. So Cinderella's dress has a layer of iridescent organza, and it's in, I believe it was just white iridescent organza. And I picked up some white iridescent organza from Walmart because that was the cheapest place I could find it. It was about $3 a yard, I believe. It ended up costing around $23 to $26. And I got six yards of it because um, for me, it I usually need about five yards per circle skirt. And um, I'll probably go into more depth of this later, but I got an extra yard because the circle skirts need to get bigger as you build the dress outwards. Um, I also picked up some pink iridescent organza, and I didn't plan on doing this originally, but I kind of impulse bought it because it was a dollar a yard and they were selling it. It, it was on sale for a dollar a yard, so I just, uh, I kind of splurged. Next, Cinderella's dress has a bunch of Swarovski crystals on it. She has 10,000, I believe, yeah, 10,000 Swarovski crystals um, on her dress. And I just bought these on Amazon. I think it was like, I think I have about 2,000 or 8,000. I'm not sure, but it costs about, um, these are not Swarovski crystals, by the way. These are just rhinestones. Um... And they are meant for, like, nail decorating, like, for decorating your nails or, like, makeup or something. But they are actually perfect for dressmaking, and I've used these before on my jasmine dress and my bell dress. And so I just picked up some more for my Cinderella dress, and they are really, really nice. Um, just make sure you do your research make sure that you're getting the ones that are, like, the shiny ones, I guess. I'll see if I can link these in the description. And of course there will be additional materials. I usually keep about 20 extra dollars just to buy these additional materials. So um, I'll need like extra fabric, like white fabric for the hoop skirts and more fabric for the corset. And most of the fabric I'm using for the undergarments is fabric that I already own. So yeah, I can't really link those. Um, I'm also, go also going to need elastic um, hook and eyes, um, trim the busks for the corset busks, and eyelets, embroidery floss, uh, glitter for the butterfly decorations, um, and interfacing and strings. So there's just like a bunch of additional materials that you'll need and you don't really think about them until the project begins so that was as many as I could think of right now but um, usually I own most of the additional materials but I would always keep like an extra twenty dollars on hand just to pick up those extra things those are all the materials I could think of and now I'm just gonna do um, I'm going to read off a few facts about the Cinderella dress just for fun and then I'm going to um, compare my take on how I'm going to make this dress compared to how Disney made theirs. So the dress was worn by Lily James in the 2015 Cinderella movie. 
The dress was designed by Sandy Powell and Jane Law. It's a two-piece gown. I believe it was, well, I mean, like, the, the bodice is detached from the, the skirt, but I don't think, I think the skirt and the petticoats are separate. Um, the dress weighed five kilos, which is um, approximately 11.023 pounds, which is um, kind of like uh, carrying a toddler or like a baby uh, as a dress. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it took 20 people 4,000 hours to make the dress. So, yeah, that's going to be a bit different <laughs> for me. Um, they don't want to say how much it costed, but it's estimated about 11,000 pounds, and that's about $13,700 in US dollars, um, which is quite a lot. And that's for one dress. They actually made, they made eight or nine copies. They made eight or nine copies for this dress, and they made like some that were like shorter for when she was dancing. They made some, um... Like, they made one four, in four inches shorter for when she was running away from the ball. They had one with, like, handles so she could, like, pick it up and run run out of the ball. And so, yeah. Um, some are made for displays and some, yeah. So there's, like, a bunch of them. So imagine, like, all these dresses costing that much money. So that's quite a lot of money. The petticoat was three layers, and there are 270 yards of fabric in the dress, and that that was uh, 250 meters. And so, like I said, I have 280 yards. Um, that's not including the iridescent organza. So, I don't know if I'm going to use all the fabric that I purchased in for this dress, but um, at least I have enough. So, okay. Um, they used three miles of thread, which is 15,840 yards, and which I calculated is about 52.8 spools of thread. And it took Lily James 20 minutes to get dressed, and like it took her 20 minutes to get into the dress. And so they actually had to have like a little like camping, like one of those like porta potty things, like, like I think just one of those like li like little toilets and she, they like slipped it under her dress if she had to go to the bathroom because um you can't just get out and then get back in to go to the bathroom it just doesn't work that way um the undergarments consisted of a corset chemise and steel crinoline cage um there were 10,000 Swarovski crystals on her dress that were hand applied and the top layer of the dress is a silk crepe line crepe crepe line crepe line I don't know. And the uh, petticoat was made out of a synthetic Yamissima fabric, which um, it's a very expensive lightweight fabric, which when thrown in the air, it floats. So yeah, that's how they got her dress to be very, very like floaty. And organza is very similar to that, which is why I'm using organza for this dress. It doesn't really float that much, but it is the best I could do. And it's estimated, or I think it costs about 150 pounds a meter, or 186 point, $186.83 a meter in US dollars. So, um, yes, that is quite the endeavor. That dress is super big and super poofy, and if I want to make it very accurate, to the one they actually used in the movie, I'm going to have to do like very, have to have some very similar technique. Anyway, um, so for my dress, I am one person and it's probably, I probably will take a couple months to make it. I've been estimating like two to three months. I don't know what that will be in hours. I haven't made the dress yet, so obviously I don't know. And of course we all know that projects take a lot longer to create than they actually do, so it may be more than three months. We'll see. Um, I have 280 yards plus um, more than 280 yards of lightweight organza, about $300 worth of materials, which is a lot less than 13000 and it's going to have about 12, more than 12 circle skirts, and in synthet synthetic synthetic plastic hoop skirt 
Um, we'll see. I mean, I don't know if the boning is going to be strong enough, but I'm just crossing my fingers. That may change. I may reinforce it with wire or something. And, um, the dress is going to have multiple layers of fabric, just so many layers, undergarments, everything. And the materials I'm using are a lot cheaper. I'm using a lot of synthetic stuff, which, once again, is because I am not rich. Um, I had to earn all this money myself, so. I'm going to be, I actually have about four, more than four miles of thread, which is more than they used. I just have, usually when I do projects, I tend to buy more materials than they use. I mean, I guess it's better more than not having enough, but at the same time, like, I don't, I probably don't have to buy all the stuff that I did. Um, I'll let you know. This is why I'm doing this series, so you can learn with me. I'm also going to have a corset chemise and hoop skirt, and I'm going to have 2,000 to 8,000 rhinestones, also hand applied, and the dress is going to be um, similar in construction with a detachable bodice and petticoats. So that is it, my friends. That is how we are going to take on this project. Um, I hope you're excited as I am. I'm pretty excited and I thought I would just throw out some facts about this dress because this has always been my dream project. Um, I have said this before, but I've always wanted to make this Cinderella dress because it is such a beautiful dress. Um, Sandy Powell did an amazing job with this dress. It is by far the best Cinderella dress in my opinion. And I love it because it's very simplistic, but at the same time, it is the most beautiful dress, like, um, Sandy Powell said that, like, they didn't give her any jewelry, they just let her hair down and gave her a very simple dress, and I really love this because it shows, I guess there's, like, a hidden message that you don't need all this fancy stuff to be beautiful, and that's why I just love this dress. It's so beautiful, it's wholesome, and I can't wait to share my experience making it with you. And also, who doesn't want to wear a big poofy ball gown? I really want to wear this dress. Like, It feels so amazing to have all that fabric just swishing around you. So I'm really excited and I will be, I will try to do my best to, um, to go in depth on these tutorials because I know that like sewing is not a, um, a skill that most people learn anymore so yeah thank you for joining me today and if you stayed this long through the video then good for you um yeah bye